top secret contracts with the federal government. Now, there's top secret, there's top secret poly and full scope, I get that, but every one of these companies has top secret work with the federal government, which means if the people are working there, most likely they have at least a top secret clearance, and it's probably active. But also the same thing we were talking about before, you can look at where people are going to and where they're coming from and help map it out. How do you mean military? Well, I had a top secret SCI, but my title, I had a top secret SCI, but my title was an executive assistant. You would have known I had a clearance in the military. Is this covering military type people? No, this is, not, this is just this civilian is federal contractors. Okay. Yep, this is the federal contractors. So what I did was I copied and pasted and I took all of that information um, off of the, I just copied and pasted it off the article and I put it into a spreadsheet and then I was in Virginia. And so I just broke it down by location of where the companies were, how many people they had, right? Like the 100 to 500 people companies under $100 million, those are my like sweet spots. Those are the ones I really like. Um, and then I just, plugged that into my search, I saved that into my search in LinkedIn, and then I created a search called Alexandria Arlington Top Secret Chantilly, Top Secret Dulles, and then I just had it by a geography, and when I would do a search, I could just do a search in there, and then I knew I was already in the field of clear people. When you do a search on LinkedIn as well, you can get this type of information. If you look at the search results, there's a little bar at the top on LinkedIn that says look at your search results, you can look at the analytics of it and it'll actually do this for you. It shows you the top 10 employers of that talent and then where they came from previously. So it doesn't really matter what type of talent you're looking for, this approach works in any of them. Uh, but this was mine for this particular search. Again, like I said, if anybody wants this, just send me a message after the conference, I will send you the whole list. What was the date of that article? Um, it was like 2015, 2016. It's a little dated, but they have um, five-year contracts. So, but the, again, there's other ways to continue to flesh this out. Some of those companies don't exist anymore. There are some new ones here. I'm actually going to get to another way to kind of map out some new ones. Um, but you can do this, you know, by looking for who's hiring, right? Who's hiring top secret clearance? Weird people, who's hiring, whatever it is you're looking for, there are other people out there hiring it. And what this helps you do is market map it. So now I know, um, you know, at, or, uh, you know, some of these ACDO, ACOM, AECOM, that's probably a good target for me. It's probably a mid-sized government contractor that has a bunch of cleared work that they just got. So that might be another place for me to go searching for prospects. So, this kind of stuff, this is like, to me, just like the compass and the needle, right? Like, we're moving the needle, this is kind of cool, but it really isn't something that's going to feed us or continue to, to produce results without continued effort. And so, um, the next thing I'm going to talk about is a tool, where it's source gone, um, a tool that I use to help me keep track of this sort of thing and then to help build an actual process that would then continuously feed me. Um, and so what I did here, this tool is called Claro HR. It's very similar to some of the aggregators out there, except uh, the thing I like about it is the visualization of the data. I haven't seen that in a lot of products or aggregators before where you can actually not only see visually where the results are, you can drill down through the search results based on the visualizations. So what I did here is I went in to the companies that I was going to recruit from, either because they had top secret clearance, they were one of my top competitors, it just really depended on what I'm sourcing for at the moment and what my need is. But this is where I'm going to create kind of my own uh, talent pipeline machine, electric motor that's going to keep churning and keep giving me candidates over time without me putting more effort into it. So step one I would use this for is just to find the company itself. And then um, I think Greg was talking about being able to download information. You can download information out of this platform. 
So I would take the entire corporate directory of a competitor and I would, I would search their company, I would get that, I would download that Excel. Now I've got their corporate directory. Then I would take you know, 10 of my top competitors, do the same thing, and then after I had all the directories, I now have a pretty good market map. I would go through those companies and look at the skill sets I was always recruiting for. Software engineers, research scientists, pharmaceutical salespeople, all stuff that I've done before. And I took the talent from my top competitors, consolidated them, and then I would put them into this system. And the last thing about the system that was really neat for me was, um, Okay, so this is one of the uh, companies from the list of top secret companies. So I look at the company, I look at the location, and then it would give me the list of people who were there. But in addition to getting that list and market mapping, that little bell right there was really my ace in the sleeve. That's what turned this into a machine for me. Because that little bell is an alarm, and it goes off when they start to exhibit job-seeking behavior. Now, I'm a sorcerer and I love passive candidates as much as anybody, I do. But I also understand the advantage of being the first mover. And so what this does is every Monday, every other Monday when I come in, I have a list of high value prospects who have just started their job search to reach out to. I didn't have to do anything extra, I didn't have